So you've probably seen those videos on the internet of birds doing funny things like dancing or talking and thought that it'd be cool to own one. Well, the video clip that I showed at the beginning was of me and my cockatiel Nikki eating a pancake the other day. You know, a lot of people buy birds and they don't understand that birds are complex animals with very complex needs. There are many different types of birds and there's a huge range in their lifespans. And with those different types of birds come different feeding requirements. But they all have a need for social interaction. You know, the size of cages and toys is important, as well as understanding that there's a lot of household dangers to your bird, making vet care an important part of owning a bird. According to a website on how long birds live, with proper care and balanced nutrition, pet birds often live far longer than the averages. Even your smallest birds like parakeets can live seven years, but it's not uncommon for them to live a lot longer. Uh, like my bird, Nikki, is a cockatiel. And their average lifespan is 15 years, but it's not uncommon for them to live well into their late 20s. Your larger birds are often a lifetime commitment. Cockatoos, the birds that we often see dancing in videos, they live about 60 years on average, but 80 is not uncommon. You know, macaws, which are your typical pirate parrots, which are blue and gold or blue and red, they live about 50 years, but can live a lot longer than that. You know, the birds, they come in different sizes and lifespans, and with those different types of birds, there are different nutritional needs. But the one thing that's agreed upon for all birds is that a seed diet is not healthy for them. Whether that diet has just seeds or seeds and nuts and fruits in it, a lot of birds, they'll pick and choose what they want to eat, and they'll only eat what they like, and they'll end up with nutritional deficiencies. So commercial pelleted foods are a healthier option because inside that pellet has all the nutrients that they need and they don't get to pick and choose what they eat. But foods that should be avoided are avocado, chocolate, and salty foods. They can really do some serious harm to your bird. And although it makes sense to feed them seeds, it can be difficult to get them onto a healthier diet, but transitioning them can be part of your social interaction. As you can see in the video at the beginning, birds want to eat what you're eating. According to Pamela Clark on the optimal social environment for your parrot, she said parrots are social creatures. They're flock animals traveling and feeding together as a group. The majority of the activities in which they engage are done as a group. Birds need their flock to feel safe. And whether that flock is just you and the bird or you and some other birds, they really want that interaction time. Birds are emotional creatures and they need to be treated in such a way. Too much affection can lead to a bird believing that you're their mate, and when you don't meet their needs as a mate, that can lead to behavioral issues. Birds love to spend time with their owners, but when their owners are not home and they have to spend time in their cage, it's important that they have a proper sized cage and that they have plenty of toys to play with. Birds shouldn't be kept in tiny little cages. You often see parakeets kept in you know, pairs in these itty bitty cages, but that's really not good for them. A bird needs to be able to spread its wings fully without touching both sides of the cage. Even for a parakeet, their cage should be at least 20 inches long by 20 inches wide. And for some of your larger birds, like your macaws, they need a cage that's three by four feet. Toys are also really important. Birds are very intelligent animals and they can get easily bored. And without toys, you can also have other behavioral issues with them getting bored. You know, you'll end up with birds that pluck or they scream a lot or they become aggressive. <clears throat> you know, they're very curious creatures. And sometimes this curiosity can extend to things around the house that could pose a risk to your bird. House plants can be toxic to birds when ingested. Electrical cords can be chewed, leading to electrocution, and there are other things like sharp objects around the house that can pose a danger to your bird. They'll pick things up with their mouth and chew on it to explore. There are other things that can be dangerous, uh, such as things in the air. Perfumes and air fresheners can make your bird sick, and things like nonstick pans. When Teflon is heated up, it releases toxic fumes that can kill your bird instantly. Other pets in the house can pose a danger to your bird. You know, you might think of a dog or a cat could attack and kill a bird, but even if the dog or cat is being nice with the bird and it's just licked the bird, when the bird goes to groom itself later, it could get the bacteria from the animal's saliva into their body. And birds don't have a resistance to the bacteria in that saliva, and that could make them seriously ill. 
And you know, household dangers aren't the only thing to worry about for your bird. There are diseases that can affect them as well. So that's why routine vet visits are important. According to the Association of Avian Veterinarians, birds are really good at hiding their illness because showing illness in the wild means that they'll get picked off easily. Routine fecal exams, throat swabs, and blood works can show you a lot of things that you won't see through the naked eye. So, you know, I've gone over this. There's different types of birds. They've got a huge variety in their lifespan from seven years all the way up to like 80 years. They have different feeding requirements, but, you know, it's agreed that a seed diet is not good because they get to pick and choose. They'll need their social interaction. A properly sized cage with plenty of toys is important. And you need to be aware of what kind of dangers could be in your house for your bird, as well as making sure that your bird has proper vet care. In case it does get injured, you'll have somebody that already knows your bird. You know, birds are complex animals. They have complex needs. But interacting with your bird and ensuring that all of its needs are met will ensure a lifetime of happiness with your bird.